Hi, Year 7. Last lesson, you looked at several examples of business pitches on TV shows such as Shark Tank and Dragon's Den. In this video today, I'm going to show you how you can create a quick plan to make sure that your own persuasive business pitch is well structured and includes lots of different persuasive techniques. On your PowerPoint, you can see that we've given you a structure to follow. There are going to be five sections to your business pitch. You're going to introduce yourself and your product. You're going to talk about problems that your product attempts to solve and how it solves those problems. Then you're going to try to build up excitement in your investors. And then you're going to ask them to give you some money so you can turn your product idea into a reality. Over the last few lessons, we've been looking at a range of different language techniques which, which can help us to do this. And we should be really familiar with these by now. We have techniques like alliteration, facts, opinions, rhetorical questions, emotive language, statistics and triples. You're going to need a piece of paper and a pen to create your own plan. So if you need to, pause the video now to go and get everything that you need. OK, good. I'm going to show you an example plan and then I'm going to ask you to pause the video at various points in order to create your plan for your own product. The example product that I'm going to use today is this one, a hoverboard. This is my invention idea and I've invented it to help teens everywhere get to where they need to go on time. So how am I going to plan? Here's my example. You can see that I've split my plan into five sections. You're going to do the same. In the introduction to my plan, I've written three bullet points for how I'm going to introduce myself, my product, and I've also created a bullet point for a technique that I'm going to use to engage my audience. I've chosen one of the forest techniques that we've been using throughout this scheme. So my example for introducing myself is I'm going to start by saying good afternoon. You might want to choose a different greeting. To introduce my product, I'm going to obviously talk about the fact that my product is a hoverboard. And the technique that I'm going to use to engage is a rhetorical question. And I've written down the rhetorical question that I'm going to use in my introduction. I'm going to ask uh, the investors in front of me, have they ever wanted to fly? You need to now pause this video. You need to write down the subheading introduction and create your own three bullet points for how you will introduce yourself, your product, and a technique you're going to use to engage your audience. Pause the video now for one to two minutes to do this. Good. Let's look at the next section of my plan. So the next section of my pitch is going to be about problems. So I need to list all of the problems that I've been trying to solve with my invention of the hoverboard. I managed to think of three problems. Part of the reason that I invented this is because teens can't drive and therefore they've got no independence. Part of the reason I invented this was for was that teens are often late to school, so I thought it could help with traffic. And also that cars, which are the other transport option, are very dirty and polluting as well. So you need to now take a minute to pause this video and spend one or two minutes listing the problems that your invention is trying to solve. Good. In the next section of your business pitch, you're going to talk about the solution. In your plan, you're going to list some uh, ways in which your product can solve these problems. So let's have a look at my examples. Well, some of my solutions are that my invention, the hoverboard, can fly above traffic. Uh, my invention is also solar powered, so it's very clean and efficient, unlike cars. And also, teens would be able to use it without having to get a driving license, so it would solve the independence problem as well. You need to now pause this video 
and take one or two minutes to write your own list of solutions that you're going to talk about in your business pitch. Okay, good. Now you need to build up excitement in your investors. You're going to list three techniques that you could use to make the investors excited about your product. Here are the techniques that I've chosen. I'm a statistic. I'm going to say that there are 2 million teens in the UK. So I'm going to ask my investors to imagine how much money they could make. Remember, our list of techniques is all here. So you can pick any of those techniques that you think would work well for you. I've also decided that I'm going to include some facts. I'm going to talk about how solar power is a clean form of energy. And I've also decided that I'm going to use some emotive language here to make them excited. So I'm going to say that the investors would be heroes who are saving the planet from a climate catastrophe. I'm going to try and appeal to their, their sense of being a hero. So by using that very emotive word. What you need to do now is to pause the video and list three techniques that you are going to use in this section of your assessments. You can pick the same ones that I have if you like, or you can pick different ones, but you've got to make sure that they are used to build up excitement and make the investors excited about the product. Pause the video now to do this. Good. Your final section of the plan is to make sure that you have a really strong ending. So you need to think about how you're going to ask these investors for money. You need to list three techniques that you are going to use to create a really strong ending to your pitch. So I've chosen a triple. I'm going to use a list of three adjectives. I'm going to describe this opportunity as a life changing, incredible and magical. So I'm going to use that list of three. I've also decided to ask them to support, to, to, to invest in me. I'm going to use a rhetorical question. I'm going to ask them, can you think of a better investment to make? And finally, because I've not used this yet, I've chosen to use alliteration as well. I'm going to tell them that if they invest in me, it's going to lead to me is going to lead to a healthier and happier planet. So I've got the alliteration with healthier and happier as well. You need to now pause the video and list three techniques that you are going to use to create a strong ending in your business pitch. Pause the video now to do that. Okay, good. If you look at the notes that you've made in front of you, you should now see that you have, just as I do, a really solid plan that will help you to write a well-structured um, assessment, a piece of writing. So make sure that you follow your bullet points. Obviously, you'd like to add, you want to add some more detail as you go. Don't just write down what you've written in your plan. Try and add some extra things as well. But this should make sure that you've got a really great, well-structured business pitch and we're really looking forward to reading them. So thank you for watching this video today. Good luck with your assessments and we're looking forward to reading them.